the Sixth Street Crypto Podcast Long Form Edition. So in the short form edition, when I said 1,000x in crypto, two guys almost hurt themselves breaking their scooters to stop and listen. You know, I get all philosophical about the beauty of revaluing crypto, and then everybody goes all bonk, stupid on me. You got to remember, somebody in New Jersey, in New Jersey, got eight years for cursing off his neighbor. Bad. Curse him off bad. Got eight years in jail. And crypto, we're mooning meme coins. Now, so you don't feel so bad about, you know, frothy sentiment and a thousand X trending on Twitter. You know, hence the great ambulance background for that thinking. Make sure you take a look at my Patreon where I have posted something about the amount of money available in the system to chase crypto. Okay, now, yes, you can go fishing for, you know, $8 million market cap coins. I got my eye on one. Everyone does. But that's not the focus. That's just not the focus. The focus should be on crypto, freedom, taking advantage of a market that's totally mispriced. Like, oh my God, look at Algorand. I mean, to their credit, to the credit of the entire Patreon group, Right, link is above or below depending on what platform you're on. A bunch of guys like three nights ago came in and say, Bill, what do you think of Algorand? What do you think of uh, Render? And I looked at Algorand, I was like, oh my God. This is like a this is like a textbook rounding bottom, sure enough. You know, it's up like 40, 50 percent. Focus on that stuff. Like for example, focus on Avalanche because they have a security token functionality. Don't focus on certain, say, microcap altcoins that have 12x'd because they threw up a website saying that they're going to get real-world assets on the blockchain. Now, if you want real-world assets on the blockchain, I'm going to talk about a water contract with a group that I'm affiliated with, but that's later. Of course, it's a reminder to jump in my Patreon so you can sort out fact from fiction. All right. So if you have to sort out whether or not the dumb money that's pouring into crypto now or the smart money, which is probably sold too early and is now looking to get short, which one's going to win? Well, if it's a true crypto monster rally, the dumb money will buy, the short sellers will get a little bit of profit, but then you'll find out on the bigger dip if you see it whether or not the big buyers are out there because the big buyers aren't working about you know the next thousand x in the meme coin on you know avalanche or six different crypto networks stuff that makes no sense to the common man right the big players are like oh my god this thing could go up another 50 60 80 percent i'm talking about cryptos that have value utility you know, your Bitcoins, your Cardanos, right? We got to build the world in a decentralized fashion, folks. I mean, there's a group that I know, they, they say, question everything, trust nothing. You know, if you walked into a bar and said, hey, question everything, trust nothing a year ago, they would have looked at you like, oh, who's this guy? Now you walk into a bar and you say, question everything, trust nothing, and people go, yeah, man, rock on, and they just, you know, go right back to looking at Instagram. They don't even think about it because it's common. Okay, well, if question everything is common, then the crypto market is still massively undervalued. And of course, crypto being, I don't know, crypto, we're all talking about meme coins and what can we do to get a 3X or a 1,000X rather than saying, how can we vote with our money and our feet, our digital feet to get over somewhere where they're gonna create real value. So yeah, it's tempting to look at all this and the 11,000 people looking at my, no one's listening to me about crypto, you know, makes me want, you know, the cringe factor there is rather epic, honestly, rather epic. And I'm not gonna let that distract me. I'm not gonna let it dip or a correction or people buying at the top. I, I'm just not gonna let that be a distraction. I think that's the main point here. Don't get distracted by by like meme coins and by like 
how much your friend at the barbershop made uh, on some meme coin, right? It's a, that's a distraction, right? That's going to get you off the networks like, you know, like I said, the stuff that's fast, the Solanas, you know, the, the Phantoms. Somebody was talking about the rally isn't over until XRP goes to $2. They may be right because that whole group that was loyal to that coin for years has abandoned it, right? Everything that's been abandoned has moved. Everything that everyone chases, they will probably lose money. That is the nature of bull markets. In other words, sometimes people own the wrong things or frequently everybody owns the wrong things. That's why there's all this buying pressure, right? No one owes, no one owns Algorand, boom. Everyone gives up on Cardano, boom, right? You know, now everyone's gonna call, pile into certain, I don't know, highly speculative cryptos, boom, they're gonna go down. They're gonna get wiped out on a correction and then when this whole thing resumes, probably with Big Brother Bitcoin, right? They're going to go, oh, gee, I lost all my money trading in, I don't know, the bonk on XYZ network. I don't do it, right? In other words, don't wind up in the ambulance. Stay on track, stay in my Patreon, and stay free.